What's good, YouTube? Back at you with another video. It's your boy Robbie Swagger, and on today we have a tape of pro sponge on top. Right now, just coming out, prepping uh, my work area, my workstation, you know, my canvas right here. Starting this video off, uh, going in with my Stylecraft Rebel with the lever open, uh, making my first. Uh, guideline now I'm working my way halfway just making sure I constantly go over each area and blend it in and I should have it closed but it's gonna skip to me having the one guard open um, going through my progressions open halfway closed just keep that in mind as you go to a new area it's pretty much the same thing open as you see I went halfway and then I work my way closed here in a second just attacking that line. Open, make your guide line, blend it up halfway, make sure you go halfway up, and then close, you hit right at that line. Now I have my um, half guard on or zero with the lever open, and now I just worked it halfway. Just making sure I constantly hit right up under there, and then I take the guard off to pick in that area to blend those areas together. Now right here I slowed it down just to show me um, with my two guard lever open, just scooping out. Uh, don't want to make a harsh guideline and I want to make this the biggest guard I use. And that makes it easier for me to bend. So right here, I go right up under there with the lever open at first and just hit right where I was and then go from open to halfway. Uh, just bringing everything a little bit closer together. Again, it's that family, man. They ain't seen each other in a minute. Now with my one and a half guard lever open, just attacking that line uh, right up under where I had the two guard closed and I'll be working my way down from open. Now switching to halfway and shortly I will close it and attack that bottom line. This right here is a technique that I think you guys should try to pick up. Uh, clip over comb helps cut down on uh, going back to certain guards, uh, which this would be that two guard area, and it kind of helps blend everything in. And then I go back to my one guard, lever open, then I go halfway, you know, just doing a little bit of detail. And as I go back down, making sure that this blend comes out perfect. I want this blend blurry as possible. And I think I have it now, lever open, no guard. Just kind of attacking certain areas and picking. I hold it sideways so I can get the dark spots and stuff. But I will come back later on and uh, detail it. So right now I'm just... Uh, freehanding making sure I try to keep it rounded uh, my client wants it rounded gonna keep it that way and I uh, knock down some of the hair on that side of the edge of just prepping the stage and just like I did with the left side of his head we're gonna start this off with the lever open and work my way from open to halfway closed now why I was jumping around I don't know um, I went to my two guard open to go ahead and blend that area in and I worked it from open to halfway to close. Um, why I did that, I don't know. Uh, try to make sure you uh, stay along with your uh, your methods. Follow the same exact steps. It's still gonna come out perfect, but um, for beginners, try to make sure that you stay on par with whatever your system is because you will get lost in the hair like that. I know. When I started, I got lost a bunch of times and I didn't know how to uh, rectify it or nothing like that. But now I do. So just try to keep that in mind. And why is little man dancing? <laughs> he back there, turd. I see you, little bro. I see you. So anyway, um, I jumped back down. Uh, I think I have my lever open. Or is that the half guard? I think it's my lever open. I'm just going through my progressions, open and halfway closed, and uh, making sure I clean everything up. 
and uh, throw my one and a half guard since I already have my two guard so I can work my way down make sure I blend everything in together um, and if you fade like this try to make sure you remember where you left off last because you don't want to push the uh, the fade up any higher it's very easy to do that and then going back to my clip over comb Make sure I, you know, blend these areas in, and um, it helps debug that um, neck lining area. All these little steps, you know, there's a reason for everything. So as you're cutting, as you're going through everything, make sure you have a reason for whatever you're doing. Know why you're doing it. So going back in with my two guard, just making sure everything is blended in. Um, again, just going over the area multiple times and coming back down with my lever open. And then I come back under it with my one and a half guard, again, connecting it, making sure everything is blended and blurry. Thing coming out nicely, coming out nicely, if I do say so myself. Turn up, little fella. I see you, bro. I didn't know he was doing it actually when I was recording and now I got my uh <laughs> my one guard lever open I had it on earlier um I was talking as I was going through that area just working my lever from open to halfway to closed and right here just kind of um again doing a little bit more shaping out these afros you got to kind of be careful especially if you're shaping out watch your client head make sure they don't do any tilting and stuff like that because you will patch them so Please be careful. And now I have my lever open and I'm just uh, just picking areas that I think I need to blend in a little bit more. And as you can see, everything's coming on together. Now I'm doing this step right now so I don't have to do it later. Uh, just throwing some spritz on there to lock everything in. So what you do to one side, you gotta do to the other. So you guys sit back, enjoy the music, enjoy this video, and I'll be back shortly. John the Dreamer.
guys, so I'm back. Uh, now I just ran my screws to lock everything in on this side, as I did to the other one. Um, and also freehanding across the lineup, the size, making sure everything right now. Here, we're getting back into that detail work. Starting off with that one guard, you know, just making sure um, I hit certain areas I feel like need to be touched up again. Maybe I didn't do it good enough the first time or whatever the case may be, but it's always good to do detail work just to make sure your work is, uh, you know, it's tip top, you know, because you can do as much as you can while that person's in that chair, but once they leave, you know, that's it. If they walk out that door, that's it. So you gotta do detail work. And also remember where you left off with each guard. So you know what areas you need to attack. And also make sure you use your mirrors. Your mirrors will help you way more than your naked eye will. Your mirror or your phone camera. Use either one of those two because they do help up, help out. Um, starting with that edge up, starting with the neckline, um, make sure that you don't push anybody's neckline back because you can do that. Uh, everybody has a natural neckline and um, you don't want to push it back trying to make it look a certain way and then when it grows back in it's looking crazy and stuff like that because once that neckline starts growing back in you can definitely tell if you pushed it back it's just like when you put a nice fade on somebody um, usually when the hair grows back in everything should be uniform but if it's dark in areas that it shouldn't be then you know next time I cut it detail and since we made it to the lineup, uh, we're gonna start it in the middle and work my way from one side to the other. And, um, and then I'm going to start my vertical bars. I like to start on the left side of the head because uh, usually that's the either high or low. I think that's the low side for certain people. Some people have equal, um, Sidebar. Some people have one side lower than the other one, so our job is to kind of match those two sides up. And if you have a hard time doing that, make sure you do one side and make a reference mark on the other, so you can see, you know, where each sides are, and you can make them level like that. Keep in mind as you're lining somebody up going from left to right, uh, whichever side that you're going in or direction that you're going in, make sure you use that side of the blade to make your way around. And also if you need to, make sure you you know turn the head or do small section by small section to make sure that everything is straight going across because it's not really straight but we want to give that illusion that it's straight. So, uh, to make sure that you're following around, make sure you use your corner. And then I make my vertical bar and I use my corners again to draw my C cup in right there. Now, when I say give the illusion that it's straight, I'm not saying that the line isn't straight. What I'm saying is uh, the way our heads are set up, you can't just go straight across. Even if they have the smallest hairline, you can't just go straight across. You have to give the illusion that it's as straight as possible. Uh, now, going in with the Tune 45 Enhancement uh, Color Enhancer Spray No Drip. Um, just making sure I get my guy together, all the way together here. 10 out of 10, must try again, if you will. <laughs> um, if you're a beginner barber, please make sure you get the basics of lining somebody because you do not want to uh, start using enhancements and they become a crutch to you like you have to uh, you have to use them now saw step number two going in with my uh, hair fibers just making sure I give it a little bit more pop make some of those lighter areas a little darker not too much and again if you do happen to spray just a little too much you can use your comb to make it look a little more natural so keep that in mind as I did right there little man back there two turn but uh if you see this in your latest closet man just know you can stick around a little longer man we're going in with that got to be glue uh hair spritz and uh fresh fades from fresh jays around here 
Make sure we get the hair up off my guy, get the hair off his shoes. Make sure you know we lock everything in and seal it tight. And after that, we use a Barber Magic pencil, you know, photo ready. And if you made it this far, man, I sure appreciate y'all for hanging in here, rocking with your boy, man. I really, really appreciate it. John. Now this step right here I was supposed to save it for later, but I went on here to knock it out uh, using a noose. Go ahead and rub that in real quick and then I come back with my uh, sponge John. racket. Make sure I give him a nice little curl sponge. You know, give my guy together, man. But that boy Gay say, this for a quarter pressure right here. Now we you know we just you know blend that thing in step by step. Ooh, the pressure. And we got matching gloves on this time. Now right here where it gets serious, uh, going in with my razor, just scraping off the, uh, the spritz, making sure my client, you know, man got some nice skin, got to make sure that skin is well put together, pause, pause. And again, when you're using that razor, uh, make sure every time you move that razor, make sure you stretch the skin. I can't stress that enough. Stretch the skin every time you move that razor. Nicks happen true enough, but you can try to prevent as many as you can by doing that. Now I'm grabbing my shears. Um, I like to do this around the hairline just to make it look that much more sharper. You know, detail work, man, detail work. So this right here, guys, is the finished product. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Once again, it's your boy Robbie Swagger. Well, I'm going to get you right. And that's on God, bro. Pound sign on God, bro, in the uh, comments. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Robbie Swagger. Like, share, and subscribe for more. Thank you.